Hi, this is Soundation.com. I'm going to talk a little bit about how students can create their very own podcast using it. And it's a free account, uh, and you can just log in with an email address. Uh, in order to use this, what we need to do first is, since I'm on a Chromebook, I'm going to go ahead and go up here to the studio and hit Chrome version. All right, once I do that, it'll take some time to load. While it's loading, I want to point out that if you need audio files that you want to add to it, so you can record your voice, yes, and you can also include other audio files, but we want to also make sure that it's legal. One of the things that you can use is youtube.com slash audio library. And by visiting that site, you can get free music that is royalty free. And you can also use sound effects and you can download these items completely for free. Okay. Now I already downloaded a couple items. So I'm going to go back to my song here and it looks like I am ready to load. What I have here are different audio channels. If I ever need to get rid of an audio channel, I can click on one and hit backspace and it gets rid of that audio channel just like so. If I need to add channels, I can hit the plus sign. It'll add audio channels as I need it. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upload some items. I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to file and I'm going to go to audio file and I'm going to upload the items that I want. These are already in my downloads folder that I already pulled from YouTube. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select that one. I'm holding down control to select both. I'm going to hit open and it's going to upload both of them at the same time. That will at least speed up the process a little bit. Okay, so they both show up down here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of these items here. I don't need audio channel two or three. Now I just have these. Okay, next thing I need to do is I need to add my voice. So before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down on these before I start recording. And I'm also going to make sure that I select audio channel one because that one is empty and I want to record on it. Okay, so here we go. Hi, my name is Lance Yoder, and this is my first podcast that I'm creating with Soundation.com. I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, so there is my audio clip. If I need to edit any of it, I can edit it by clicking directly on it. And I have a scissors here to split wherever I need to split, like so. And with the scissors, what I can do is I can click and drag the parts that I where I want to start and finish. And then I can hit backspace and it deletes it. I'm going to select my pointer again, and now I have just that audio file. So the same thing works with this music file. I'm going to crank these back up, like so, and like so. Okay, and so the same thing works with my audio files. Let's say I want a music introduction, and then I want it to eventually stop. Okay, so to trim this clip, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select roughly around here. And then I'm going to select the scissors and I'm going to hit my start point right here. And now it has cut it right here. And once I hit backspace, that part deletes just like that. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to make some adjustments on the volume. So this is going to be really loud when I play it at first. I'm going to switch this audio channel four here. And I'm going to switch it to volume right here where it says automate. Right now I'm on volume. So when I click here, what it's going to do is it's going to pull up the volume and it's going to put a specific marker. If I add another marker here, then what I can do is I can grab a hold of it and adjust it down like so. So it fades out essentially. I want it very quiet during that part just for fun. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the volume back up here. And I need to adjust and make two audio points like so. I'm going to, oops, I still had the scissors on. I didn't want to do that. I need to pull this up like so to bring the volume back up. And then I'm going to add an audio point right here. And add an audio point here. And I'm going to bring the volume back down. I'm going to switch this to display off. And now I have a little mini show here that I've made and we're going to go ahead and listen to it. So I'm going to bring it, this back here to the beginning. I'm going to hit play.
There's my sound effect. Hi, my name is Lance Yoder, and this is my first podcast that I'm creating with Soundation.com. I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, so there is my podcast that I've made. Now I need to export it. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Export. Now, I know what I did there was not super fancy. It was very, very basic, but it works. Okay, once it has downloaded, then you can go to your Show in folder. It's going to be in a WAV format, so if you're okay with a WAV format, that's fine. If you need to convert it, we can convert it with another tool, but here's how it turns out. Hi, this is Lance Yoder, and this is my first podcast recording. I'm just testing things out. All right, and so that's a little bit about using Soundation.com to create a podcast.